We are following some developing news, some breaking news for you this afternoon. The remains of someone have been found in the Akron area behind the Rolling Acres mob. They were in a shallow grave. The Cleveland FBI and Akron police found the body. Authorities are waiting for the Summit County coroner to release the identification of this person. We're going to keep following the story for you over on WKYC.com. The lights went out in parts of Summit County this afternoon, but it was not your typical power problem. A man was electrocuted, apparently trying to steal copper cable from the Rolling Acres Mall. Firefighters found the body next to an electrical cabinet that is clearly marked with hazard signs. The victim has not been identified, but police believe he broke into the cabinet and tried to cut the cable. They tell us vandals have plagued the mall, which is partially abandoned. We've had um, scrappers breaking in, doing the same thing throughout the mall, and it's been an ongoing problem. Several dozen homes lost power this afternoon. Police are warning scrappers that attempts to steal copper can be deadly. Recently, J.C. Penney's outlet was right in this building over here. A year ago, there was still a J.C. Penney outlet in there. That was the last store to remain. And then Macy's on the other side, if you see over there, it's all boarded up. That left about three or four years ago, probably. Yeah. But at one time, it was just those two yes. stores here with all this shut and boarded off inside. You couldn't, you know, get out of Penny's into the mall area. Okay, so they, they shut the mall down before J.C. Penny and Macy's left. Correct. Yes. Yes. I see. And, and, and Macy's, you couldn't get out of Macy's either. You would just go into Macy's and come back out like you couldn't come over here to, to, to J.C. Penny's outlet. It was just shut. The main mall was shut. This whole place, like, I don't know if you ever knew of Handy Andy's, it was like the beginning of the big Lowe's and Home Depot's was over there. It was Toys R Us was Toys here. Toys R Us, McDonald's. There are a lot of places. I mean, look at the bus station there where, where the buses would come, how many places they have down there in the blue over there where the buses would come and pick up people and bring people in from Akron. I mean, you know, this was booming. This was, at one, one point in time, a booming place. The mall was kind of like the anchor for all the other stores and all the other um, things that went on around here. And as if you look around, you can see that most of the places are either, either abandoned or just a mere shell of what they were at one time. Hi, this is Dan Bell, and here we are at my most requested location for a video, Rolling Acres Mall, affectionately known as Rotting Acres located out in Akron, Ohio. There's a lot of information about this mall online, so I won't go too much into the history of this mall and the, the financial downfall of this mall. You can find all of that just by Googling Rolling Acres Mall. So this video, I'm just going to break in every once in a while and let you know what you're looking at and the feelings I had while I was there and everything else. So when we go out into this corridor here in a minute, you're going to hear a lot of frogs singing. And if you're familiar with Rolling Acres Mall, where the glass elevator is, underneath of the elevator in the pit, it's filled up with water. So there's actually frogs living under the elevator. And here we go. Listen to them sing.
here we are in the food court and if you can see it uh, the food court had fog in it which I found very strange but if you look there's actually a mist you can kind of see it in the light uh, there was a fog bank that had formed in the food court and around the food court As you can see, scrappers have been in this mall and have taken away all of the handrails and any other uh, scrap metal features that they could get their hands on. Uh, the mall has been completely stripped. As you can also see, most of the windows in the mall have been broken. Uh, the place has been completely vandalized and it's just kind of rotting away. If you look there in that powder, you'll see some raccoon tracks. See them right there? The mall, when I was in here, uh, you can hear a lot of strange noises. Uh, you can hear a lot of birds. Um, and of course, frogs. Uh, the frogs don't sing when they hear a lot of noise. So if you walk, you'll hear them like down the corridor. And then when you get closer and closer, they just stop singing. But anyway, there's a lot of evidence of like small mammals running around and all kinds of stuff is going on inside of this place. One of my fears when I was walking along this floor, you know, the floor is very smooth. Um, and there's these puddles of water and mold and algae and it becomes very very slippery uh, so 
one of my biggest fears was being, you know, a couple feet away from the edge on the second level. Uh, if I slipped, which I did a couple of times, uh, if I fell over that edge, I don't think you'd be watching this video right now. One of the eerie aspects of this place and being in here by yourself is how quiet it is and how every little noise you notice. Um, unlike a mall that has people in it, uh, this mall is extremely quiet because there are no people in it. Uh, it gives it a very, very creepy feeling indeed. Looking down this corridor here, which is opposite the elevator, is the old cinema, Rolling Hills Cinema, which you can see in the beginning of this video, the exterior of the cinema. I can't even explain just how treacherous it is inside of this building. It is extremely dangerous in here. Um, I don't recommend you go. You'll see why at the end of this video. Um, it's just not a good idea. If you do go, I recommend going with someone, bringing somebody with you. Uh, and being extremely careful. Um, not only 
could you be physically hurt? Um, but also, uh, from what I understand, a lot of unsavory people frequent this mall. Um, and if you go in here, you'll see some of the graffiti and some of the bullet holes. There are literally bullet holes everywhere. In the skylights, in the walls, some in the floors. I mean, there are bullet holes all over this place. So, I'm not saying that the people who brought guns in to shoot would want to hurt you, but if they're in there shooting and they don't know that you're coming, you could accidentally get hurt. So, something to think about uh, if you're going to go and check this place out. Of course, we're looking at the iconic orange-tiled fountain in Rolling Acres Mall. Probably was pretty awesome to see when it was uh, operating. Now it's just fallen into ruin. However, when, you, when you're walking in here and you see it, it's such an amazing pop of color in such a dismal place. It's like you're just seeing like sunshine in the middle of like nothing um, it's really really fascinating another cool feature here that we'll see here in a second are the of course geometric design ceilings um, just amazing looking and really when you see them it, it's just so impressive to look at and it's amazing that it's dead nobody is seeing it anymore and it'll probably end up in a landfill in the next five or ten years pretty sad Most of the floor space in this mall is covered with glass, little pieces of glass. So when you're walking, it just sounds like you're walking on a gravel road or something. And I really thought that this planter here was interesting. The only thing that it's missing is Audrey 2 from Little Shop of Horrors. Wouldn't that be awesome if Audrey 2 was like in the center of the planter and it jumped up and said, feed me. That would be so awesome. <laughs> This old express store here, 
um, there was so much standing water inside that I guess it had leaked down uh, beneath the tile work or the tile floor at least uh, so the wood underneath had buckled um, so the tiles as you walk on them would literally crack under your feet And here you can see the bullet holes in the skylights. This was probably my favorite site in the mall, this mid-century modern Ames lounge chair. Isn't that amazing? What I wouldn't give to have that. Completely destroyed, of course. Somebody probably ripped the bottom off. Who knows where it could... Well, actually, I think I just saw the bottom of it. That chair in good condition would be worth quite a few bucks. I like uh, the zoom in here on the mall occupancy record and it looks like it was from 2004 and it says two people were in the mall. Here we are headed back towards the fountain and we're going to pop into another store here. Looks like this store had its last red letter day a long time ago. But a bit of Christmas, a bit of holiday cheer for everyone in June, there it is. police escort out of the mall. A lot of police. But very friendly police. Very friendly police officers. The Akron City Police, is that? Yeah, Akron City Police. Who are very kind to me. So if you think about coming to Rolling Hills, don't do it. Because they will be here. You can see how many police officers show up? Huh? Uh, if you go to 
This is Dan Bell on YouTube. This is Dan Bell. Okay, you guys. <laughs> I totally got busted. They brought dogs, and they had police officers, and I honestly thought that uh, I was going to be arrested, but they were actually quite nice. So I, uh, I'm done here at Rolling Acres. Got the footage I needed. And that dog would have eaten me alive. He would have eaten me alive. Have a good night, man. Oh, look at all the. They blocked my car in, too. Look at this. Alright, guys. Till then.